um, I know I look really gross right now. My hair is a sick joke, but I wanted to make this video even though I look really disgusting. Um, because I have a lot of different questions from people on my different channel that I can't answer more because I got hacked. So I wanted to make a different video to answer all those questions. So basically, um, I have my laptop, obviously. If I go on my other YouTube account, um, I made a video about um, just the, the Monroe piercing in general and how I took care of it and all that thing. So I'm just going to be answering all the questions because I keep getting a lot and I can't respond to it. So let's clear this up. This is my new YouTube account. Um, my other channel got hacked and I can't respond to it anymore. So I'm going to link this uh, video onto the other one that I can't respond to anymore as a uh, new response and hope that people see it. So basically, um, I'm just going to kind of answer a lot of the questions that I got on my um, other video. I do have a video on um, answering a lot of other questions on this channel still, but that's kind of like, I don't know, I just wanted to make a new one. But anyway, um, so basically, I've had my Monroe for almost two years now. And everything is completely healed up. I will show you. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And um, people are asking me basically like how I clean it um, and stuff about redness. So I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. When you first get your Monroe pierced, it is going to be red. It's gonna be swollen, and it is normal for it to have like yellow crusties around that. I got that a lot when I got mine pierced. I had a lot of yellow crusties, which is perfectly normal. Um, as long as they're not green or anything out of the ordinary, then you should be fine. Um, just when you're cleaning it, use antibacterial soap and you should do uh, sea salt soaks. And if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It's really easy to do. Um, somebody asked how I clean mine. Basically what I do is I just wet the piercing itself and like the air around it like right here. And I put the antibacterial soap and kind of like scrub it a little. I, I like to use a Q-tip because I think it's kind of easier to like get around it and I get it like all around the post and all that stuff and I just wash it off that's it it's a lot easier to do in the shower um that's what I did but I did that twice a day and then sometimes it was really irritating me I would do the seat salt soak um which is really good for you know the whole healing thing so yeah that's basically what I did to keep it clean if it's red still after a couple weeks or you're still getting crusties that is normal the redness should go down after about a couple weeks um mine still got the crusties for about like a month so, yeah, um, if it's red or doing anything that you feel like it shouldn't be, just keep washing it, doing the same thing that you do. Um, I mean, I guess if you just got it pierced or whatever, just twice a day antibacterial soap or sea salt soak. But I like the antibacterial one better because it just makes me feel like it's more clean, but that's just personal preference. They also told me that their piercer told them to use uh, non-alcoholic mouthwash to clean the inside, which... I can see that making sense because I was told not to put any alcohol on any piercing. Um, what my piercer told me to do is that like every time I eat, when I first got it done, to dilute normal mouthwash, water in it, mix it around, and just half and half water, half and half um, the uh, mouthwash, and just rinse out your mouth like you normally would. And that's how you clean the inside. Um, it's just really important to keep it clean and do not touch it a lot. Don't twist it like this. I mean, obviously I can now because mine's healed, I can pull on it do whatever I can not feel this at all so yeah um I also got another question about someone said that they had a uh, like where the post is in your mouth you have like a weird circle thing and I have that too that's normal my I've had mine for almost two years now and I still have that in my mouth that's just from the post being in your uh, tissue or whatever that's completely normal um, a lot of people have been talking about bumps I've never had a bump on my mineral piercing but um just putting this out here completely since I am not a professional if you really truly think that you, there's something wrong with your piercing you should go back to the piercer because they are the professional and I'm not I'm just telling you from my experience what happened um, and I just had a lot of questions that I wanted to answer piercing is ever infected though do not take it out you should go to a doctor to get medication or whatever because if you take out the piercing while it's infected the infection can get trapped and that's not good so never take out an infected piercing. That's what I've been told. I don't know if anyone, like professional people will agree with me, but that is what I was told. Um, so basically those are just the questions that I think I covered most of them. Um, I think a lot of things that was uh, 
said a lot was talking about the swelling post. Um, as I said in my first video that I had a swelling bar that was a lot bigger than the standard like Lebray um, Monroe post or whatever and how it would get caught on your gums and stuff. Mine did that too. Mine got caught on my teeth, kind of gets caught on my gums, but it's, it's normal because the bar is a lot longer than it should be. Um, I was told to keep that in for about a month, almost a month and a half. Someone told me that their piercer said that it was two weeks, but I guess it just depends on your body. I, to play it safe, personally, I would do two months just if you can because, I mean, it's better to play safe than change it, you know? Um, just don't, like, play around with it. Don't turn it, whatever. Just let it be. Let it do its thing. Um, it's a fresh piercing. It's, it's going to get red. It's going to have yellow, crusty stuff. It's going to ooze, whatever. Just as long as you don't have any signs of infection, then you should be fine as long as you're doing the cleaning thing twice a day, that whole thing. Um, so I think, I think I covered everything, but if anybody has any questions, you can inbox me, you can comment on this video, um, whatever, share this video, do whatever you want, like, favorite, all those good things, yeah, and um, since a, a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions about piercings, so I have a few different piercings that I plan to do a video on, I want to do my nose ring, I have my septum pierced, I have my smiley pierced, I have my belly button pierced, so if anybody wants to see a video on those, um, like the whole piercing process, cleaning, healing process. I'll do that. I'll probably end up doing it after this video. But I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And yeah. So I'll see you all later.